meantime, some new information tonight about the suspect police believe killed two people in Rogers Park this week. CBS 2's Dana Kozlov joins us live from another meeting on the murders at the Bernard Horwich Jewish Community Center. Dana, what are they saying? Rob, tonight Chicago police are telling me that they are reviewing a lot of new security video that they've received from buildings just in the past 24 hours, hoping to catch another image of the suspect. And they told residents here tonight that so far 105 tips have come into the department about this case. Chicago police continue to show this video of the man believed to be a killer to residents on Chicago's north side tonight at another community meeting in West Rogers Park with at least 300 people in attendance. There is no obvious motive in either one of these and that gives us uh, cause for concern. Police say the same gun and they believe the same person killed 73 year old Douglas Watts Sunday morning and 24 year old Eliyahu Moskowitz Monday night blocks apart from each other in Rogers Park. First Deputy Superintendent Anthony Riccio says an unprecedented 40 detectives are on this case only, but tensions are high. Know who lives on your block. So when you do have a strange car that comes on the block, first thing you do is get a plate number. We're getting a tremendous number of calls and emails. People uh, understandably expressing fear. Alderman Joe Moore says increased police patrols are helping ease some fears. Officers are also stopping and questioning men who fit the general description of the suspect, often acting on a tip. That's always a, a sensitive concern, uh, but I, uh, I think as long as the police are respectful when they stop an individual. There's a guy loose who is, is just murdered, executed. Uh, two citizens who are uh, law-abiding citizens minding their own business walking down the street. So, um, yeah, I'm going to say the officers are doing exactly what we want them to do right now. Police say witnesses believe the suspect is a black male with a thin build and a pronounced duck type of walk. But in images captured Sunday morning, the alleged suspect is covered head to toe. And for that reason tonight, Deputy Riccio says nothing is certain. I don't think we've ever really like conclusively determined. Yeah, just dark complexion. I mean, we, we haven't conclusively determined the race. Police are not intentionally releasing the caliber of the gun used in both of these murders, but tonight they did say that the gun has not been traced to any other murders in the city. We're live in West Rogers Park. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Erica. All right, Dana, thank you. Meantime, students and parents.